Many hunters are eagerly waiting for Saturday to come. It marks the start of bow deer season. And with so many people getting ready, it's important to keep safety in mind. Newswatch 12's Austin Carisu joins us with more on making sure your deer stands are good to go. Dan and Jessica, according to the Wisconsin DNR, past surveys say that one quarter of bow hunters have experienced a fall or near fall from an elevated stand in the past. I visited Jay's Archery Pro Shop in Anago to learn more about deer stand safety and what people should know ahead of the season. Make sure you're just up to date on hunter safety, you know, read your rules, your regulations. With the start of deer, crossbow, and archery season right around the corner, it is important for hunters to make sure their deer stands are up to date on safety precautions. Check all your equipment over and make sure that there is no loose bolts and make sure your straps are not weather checked and uh, replace them if they need to be. While the safety harness's primary function is to keep the person secure, Walvigal says that the equipment could also be used as a beneficial device while in the trees. That's actually a really nice tool to use. Helps making or helps hanging tree stands a lot easier. So it's not only a safety factor, but it's a tool that you can use in your arsenal that will actually help you. If it is your first time crossbow or archery hunting, make sure you know where to connect your harness to the tree. Your point of contacts, you know, make sure your footing and, and you have multiple point of contacts on the tree limbs, you know, tree steps, uh, whatever it may be that you're climbing up. It is also important to have a survival kit and first aid equipment in case you are in a place with no cell service. Always make, make yourself aware of safety. Everybody wants to be successful, but you gotta be safe and successful. Of course, best of luck to everyone with the season starting Saturday and running through January 7th of 2024. For more information on the season, people can visit the Wisconsin DNR's website.